The images are horrifying. Islamic State militants shown destroying ancient works of art in Mosul in 2014. A recent example of art being lost to the world. And when the, uh, the Buddhas of Bamiyan were destroyed in 2001, it was a moment where it felt as though my entire art history had collapsed. And, um, and so I saw works of art that were once again, in terms of the, the long history of the world, at stake, while human beings were also at stake. But it was the looting of Baghdad's National Museum in 2003 that galvanized Iraqi-American conceptual artist Michael Rakowitz to act. It didn't matter if you were for the war or against the war. This was something that everyone could agree upon was unacceptable and tragic. And it was uh, a problem for all humanity, not just for Iraq. Rakowitz created the Invisible Enemy Should Not Exist series depicting some of the over 7,000 artifacts looted from the Iraq Museum. We are not seeing blood and guts, it's, but we, we are still able to recognize that this is a, a terrible sort of act that's happening and connect it to what's happening outside of that space and to the people around um, the work of art. Databases from the University of Chicago and Interpol gave Rakowitz and his team exact measurements to replicate lost, missing or stolen artifacts, this time using modern materials. This is one example of one of the works that's been missing and has been recreated using materials such as newspaper, for example, or the um, cartons and packaging materials from the Middle East originally, locally available in a corner store or supermarket. Rakowitz insists the sculptures are not intended to replace missing works. I don't ever want to say that I'm making a double because the original is lost forever. The same way that those people that perished during war alongside these objects of art or these, uh, these examples of literature um, cannot be put back together again. In 2018, Rakowitz's work will be featured in one of the world's most celebrated public art spaces, London's Fourth Plinth in Trafalgar Square. Rakowitz hopes his Lamassu, a copy of an Assyrian winged bull statue destroyed by Islamic State militants, will spark debate and a renewed appreciation for all that has been lost. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.